Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about NumPy arithmetic operations and functions. We can perform arithmetic operations on arrays by using these functions, arithmetic functions. Python has a wide range of standard arithmetic operations. These operations are performed with the help of functions. Okay, those are addition operation, subtraction, multiplication, division. There are specific functions in NumPy for performing these type of arithmetic operations. So let's see one by one. The first one is, so here NumPy add. So NumPy add function is used to add two arrays. NumPy subtract is used to subtract two arrays. Okay. Next multiply is used to multiply. Divide is used to divide and reminder. Okay. Next one is power function and also reciprocal function. These are the seven important types of arithmetic functions. Add, subtract, multiply, divide, remainder or mod, power and reciprocal. So let's discuss one by one. The first one is NumPy arithmetic operations. So in this, the first one is NumPy add. So arithmetic operations are possible only if array has same structure and dimension. Okay. So if it is two dimension, then two arrays must be two dimension A and B. And also the structure and dimension should be same if you want to perform arithmetic operations. We carry out operations following rules of array manipulations. We have both functions and also operators for performing operations okay so numpy provides both functions and operators so we all know operator is a symbol which is used to perform operation okay so next function is a subprogram which is used to perform specific task numpy provides these both operators as well as functions okay so the first one is numpy add function so numpy add function is used to add two arrays whether it is one dimensional or two dimensional or multi dimension so if you want to perform add operation then must be dimensions of both arrays must be match otherwise if add uh, arrays having dissimilar shapes we get value error okay so let's take two arrays one array is np dot array of 10, 20, 100, 250, sorry, 500. Those are the elements in A array. Next, B array contains 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, what is the dimension of A? A is one dimension. B is also one dimension. So, if both arrays contain same dimension, then addition is possible. Arithmetic operation is possible. So, NumPy provides, NumPy provides add function which is used to add Two arrays so np dot add of a comma b so we are calling add function and passing parameters a comma b add is a inbuilt function in numpy so it can perform addition operation by taking two operators sorry two parameters okay so the answer is 10 plus so here the addition operation is done element wise element by element 10 plus 3 13 20 plus 4 4 24 100 plus 5 105 like this the operation is done okay so same operations we can perform same operation is we can perform by using operator so here we we have used np dot add of a comma b so we are using add function in numpy okay and passing parameters a comma b or you can use plus operator plus operator is used for addition right so that's why print just a plus b we will get same output here okay so we can use add function or we can use plus operator okay the next one is numpy subtract function so subtract function is used to find the difference of two arrays okay so if we subtract two arrays having dissimilar we get error okay so you need to remember if you want to perform arithmetic operations then both arrays contain same 
dimensions same structure okay so here array elements are same elements so i want to subtract difference i want to find the difference okay so that's why np dot you need to use subtract for addition you need to add add for subtract you need to use subtract of a comma b okay so this is one method or you can find subtraction difference by using operator that is minus operator print a minus b so in both cases you will get same type of output okay so num by subtract and a minus b next one is multiply so it is used to multiply two arrays okay we cannot work with dissimilar arrays same okay so here the example a array contains 73451 and b array contain 34567 so in the in previous classes i have discussed how to create one dimensional two dimensional and multi dimensional right yes so np dot multiply so here multiplication is done with the help of multiply function and you need to pass the parameters a comma b or you can use multiplication operator okay a into b in both cases we get same type of output so here multiplication 7 into 3 21 3 into 4 12 next 4 into 5 20 5 into 6 40 1 into 7 7 okay so in this way the next one is numpy divide function so here divide function is used to perform division of two arrays okay so here the first array 37347451 and 34567 okay so for division you need to use divide function okay so we all know the operator divide operator slash operator okay so we get same output for both either function or operator okay clear the next one is mod so what is the difference between uh, division and mod so in division we get quotient okay so for example 10 divided by 2 so here 10 fives sorry 2 fives 10 so here the answer for 10 divided by 2 is 5 okay so for 10 mod 2 the answer is 0 means division means quotient remainder means i mean mod means remainder okay so here np dot first array second array so if you want to find out the remainder you need to use remainder function or you can use mod function okay so remainder or mod function we will get same output for both cases the next one is power function so this power function treats the first array as base and raises it to the power of the elements of the second array okay so here a comma b that is 7 power 3 and 3 power 4 next 4 power 5 like this next 1 power 7 like this okay so first array is first array is base 7 3 4 5 1 and the second array is power that is 3 4 5 6 7 like this okay so this is power function so for power function you need to use power okay the last one is numpy reciprocal function so here this function returns the reciprocal of all arrays so in the previous functions we take two parameters but for this reciprocal function we need to take only one parameter so initially 7 3 4 5 1 so in the base 1 yes so this is a reciprocal 7 divided by 1 3 divided by 1 4 divided by 1 okay so we get 0 0 0 and 1 One one, okay. So one one one, okay. In this way, we can find reciprocal, okay. So I hope it is clear. 
so total seven types of uh, arithmetic operators one is add subtract multiply divide mod power and reciprocal so if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you